good morning bande matram welcome all of you so here we are going to discuss a good topic that is on uh, sri aurobindo so called so predicted the idealism of the future spiritual society so we are going to discuss something on uh, spiritual society future so spiritual society the ideology of the future spiritual society that is the topic of discussion uh, for right now uh, let us first quote uh, what sri aurobindo really uh, we know individual and the society individual extension the extension of the individual individual is actually nothing but the society anyway we'll try to quote uh, sri aurobindo's remarks sri aurobindo's explanation explanation on uh, society what really this is society uh, really means from that we will derive the definitions and the how must be the um, uh, future of the ideal spiritual society sri aurobindo quotes on society society is only an enlargement of the individual very beautiful very clear and of course it is a very minute observation by the master so society is only an enlargement of the individual against your in the tries to quote on society the individual can't be perfect until he has surrendered on all now calls himself to the divine being so surrender that is a criteria against your in the course until mankind gives all to it has man until mankind gives all it has to the god never shall there be a perfected society so surrender consecration it is uh, the very most uh, very most interested and most uh, needed conditions for the development of the individual being so again uh, another line we i i i find in sri aurobindo's writings very interestingly the development of the free individual is the first condition for the development of the perfect society so the development of the society um, uh, very much uh, depends upon the development of the individual that is what a perfected community can exist only by the perfection of its individual that's what again the perfection again uh, we can find a perfected community can exist only by the perfections of the individual so yeah it has to be taken care of care of the individually evolution in the, the true individual is not the ego but the divine individuality which is through our evolution preparing to emerge in us that is a great topic great thing great word um, uh, in order to feel fulfill god in individual we must expect um, exceed the individual so society it uh, actually it gets uh, saved and received through this individual extension of the individual in the society perfect society can be attended with the perfection of the individual so anyway this is a great um, topic of discussion right now and we will proceed further uh, to know how this can be achieved sri aurobindo has um, uh, discussed uh, on couple of pillars so we are going to discuss um, in brief of course no human organization no human organization can change radically unless human consciousness itself changes so that is the uh, great thing it has been uh, told so by the by the mother no human organization can change radically unless human consciousness itself changes with the change of instant human consciousness only there is possibility of uh, um, uh, change of the human organization at large again we are going to sri aurobindo quote we are quoting sri aurobindo a spiritualized society that's what the topic of discussion a spiritualized society would live like a spiritual individual same way it is interrelated like an it's a spiritual individual not in the ego but in the spirit that is the point to be noted and it has to be mentioned clearly it has to be understood properly not as the collective ego but the collective soul no ego has a place in the perfected society spiritual society again sri aurobindo uh, goes little bit uh, that was quoted from human cycle and here therefore a society which was even initially spiritualized would make the revealing and the finding of the divine self in man the whole past aim of the of all the activities 
whole first aim of the uh, um, aim full first aim of the all activities society which has been initially spiritualized that is the condition spiritualized we have to make the revealing and the finding two ways number one is revealing and the second finding of the divine self in man revealing and the finding of the divine self in man that is the first aim of the uh, activities its education its knowledge in science ethics art and the economic and the political structures so sri aurobindo tries to explain on different aspects of the um, uh, um, terms what sri aurobindo has used in activities education knowledge number 4 science number 5 ethics number 6 art number 7 economical and finally it is on political structure so one after another sri aurobindo tries to clarify and focus on this eight basic principles so it main um, pillars the first will uh, feel that integral education the education it is as to some extent in the ancient vedic times the focus Um, uh, is recoiled back it is focused back into the ancient vedic times with the cultural education of the higher classes ancient vedic times cultural education of the higher classes so it would be uh, then with uh, all education it is it would embrace all the knowledge in its scope education then comes knowledge in its scope but to make the whole trend a uh, trend and aim and the permitting spirit uh, not merely worldly efficiency but also self developing and self finding so this education it mostly it focuses upon two aspects the one is self find developing and uh, second is also self finding so uh, after this education we are moving forward uh, to the spiritual uh, uh, in the man the individual um, we will see in the perfectly spiritualized society what is really condition it is coming the second aspect first year in the course year beautifully for the perfectly spiritual spiritual society the spiritualized society perfectly spiritualized society will be one of which it is as is dreamed by the spiritual anarchist all man will be deeply free that is what the major requirement all will all man will be deeply free and it will be so because the primary education on primarily primary condition will have to be satisfied that the freedom is a most and it is a most required condition so each man will not be will be not the law to himself but the law the divine law the ordinary law ethics rules it has been formulated by the mind only but it is the divine law to whom man will be bound attached because he will be a soul living in the divine not the ego living merely under the entirely for the own interest and the purpose it is there the man must be free and live for the divine only but not never not and never to satisfy and stay under the ego confines his life will be led by the law of this own divine nature liberated from the ego liberated from the ego must rule obey the divine rules it must be the in depth freedom liberation must be there again here in the course about the divine truth and the beauty in, in art so aim of art here in the course not merely to present the images of the subjective and objective world then what is the purpose but to um, uh, see uh, them with the significant and the creative vision significant and the creative vision that goes being uh, their appearances and to reveal the truth and the beauty of things reveal means means it is concealed the aim of art is to reveal the truth and the beauty to which things visible to us and the invisible are the forms the masks the symbols or significant figures so now it is actually reconciled it is not seen it is on the below surface it has to come out these appearances must uh, being their appearances and uh, the purpose the aim is to reveal the truth and the beauty in things that is what the purpose of the uh, this that that will be manifested in the perfected of course uh, the future spiritualized society again still in the course 
about the physical and uh, psychic science science but uh, not the, not only in the material science but physical and the spiritual studies so spiritual uh, psychical science it would be it would pursue this society this society will pursue two aspects one pursue physical and uh, psychical science not in order um, merely to know the world and the nature in her possessor possesses and to use them for the material human ends but to know through and in and under and over all things poor things not only totally to know the world and the nature in the same way same fundamental way but to use them for the material human ends but to know through in under over all things the divine in the world and the ways of the spirit in its mass behind them work of the divine purpose of the divine and the way of the spirit in marx and behind them that is what the requirement again we will go for the social rules and the regulations that's what everything we know already we have discussed these rules and the regulations are mental formulations whatever we are we keep using with that right now our chief justice of um, supreme court as he had a fine observation these rules whatever were they are actually it was suitable for the the then uh, uh, time period when india got liberated initially freedom 1947 that time it was there different we copied from different uh, mental structures scriptures from different countries but thing is that there is a needed for there is of course we need the change many things have to be changed otherwise otherwise justice can't be um, uh, properly um, actually declared so, so we'll see the this rules and regulation it would make the, uh, it the aim of ethics not to establish a rule of action whether uh, supplementary to the social law or partially corrective of course partially corrective not at all helpful or as it is it is no way helpful it, it's a social law uh, that is all only the rule often clumsy and ignorant clumsy and ignorant old model the narrow confines it is not applicable to the this one because all are moral and the copied from different uh, countries so of the bipod peak the human heart but to develop the divine nature in the human being just imagine approximately 100 years back Sri Aurobindo quoted, Sri Aurobindo explained, Sri Aurobindo tried to you know, um, exemplify the things what is actually really the Chief Justice of India, Supreme Court, so because Chief Justice Rao itself actually he is reciting the word that is needed the change. You just imagine how the foresight of, of the um, uh, great prophet, uh, our Lord or Sri Aurobindo actually had seen during that in his own vision. Again, we'll see um, the um, um, sociology, sociology, spiritual sociology will the another aspect we are focusing upon. A spiritualized society would treat in its sociology of the individual from the saint to the criminal, from the saint to the criminal not as a unit of the social problem to be pressed through some skillfully devised machinery but or either and either flattened into the social mood or crossed out of it but the soul suffering and the entangled thing is that it must be seen in the vision of the soul in the point in the aspect in the image in the imagination of the only during the truth of the soul suffering and the entangled in a net and to be rescued souls growing and to be encouraged to grow that is what the requirement society it is not the point of who is a sinner who is a virtuous person who is actually uh, undergrown who is overgrown that is not the criteria but the souls growing and to be encouraged to grow souls grown and from whom help and power can be drawn by the lesser spirits who are not an adult again we will go for the next uh, that is economy economy that is a great term we are using the aim of its economies would be would not would be not to create a huge engine of production. You have to make big production, you have to sell it, you have to earn your money, hurdle money like this, not the purpose. Uh, whether it is competitive or cooperative kind, different type of existing uh, economy now, right now. But um, to give to men, not only to send uh, to some, but to, to all men, each in his highest possible measure. 
then again uh, steer in the course uh, how really it must be the joy of work according to their own nature joy of work according to their own nature and the feel is your to grow inwardly joy of work according to their own nature number one and uh, free leisure to grow inwardly inward growth as well as simply reach and the beautiful life for all that is what but it we have to come from the confines of this um, so sociologist so called the leftist philosophy or something but actually we must go inside and see the sea and we will try to know the need of the soul and finally we are of course coming to the of course to ask the end that the politics Uh, of course, uh, still in the we for us uh, for the spiritual seekers and uh, people who are pursuing the integral Vedic method, uh, method, this is sex, wine, uh, drinking, sex, politics. These are all prohibited. But some ex or to some extent, people have asked for the blessings. And Mother has quoted, okay, all the nasty people are actually they are involved in politics right now. But if you really want to change, good people should come and try to change the political structure of the uh, basic political structure of India. So in it, the politics, it would not be regarded the nations within the scope of their internal life um, of the enormous state. Um, uh, but actually, thing is that here in the course, beautiful, it would regard the people as the group souls. It would regard the, the, the people as the group souls, the divinity concealed and to be self-discovered, concealed divinity, to be self-discovered in the human collectivities, group souls meant like the individual to grow according to their own nature. Individual has to grow according to their own nature by the growth, by this growth. It will, it will be helpful to each other. The help the human race at a large in the common work of the humanity and finally Uh, here in the course and uh, that work would be to find the divine self in an individual and the collectivity to find the, uh, the, the self divine self in the individual and in collectivity and to realize um, spiritually mentally vitally materially its greatest largest richest and the deepest possible possibilities in the inner life of all and in the outer action and the nature everywhere inside and outside the thing is that the divine self concealed within it has to be discovered and with the collectivity and the individuality their development their progress their you know, purpose to be found out and to be worked out that is the political motive the political ethos and the political echo of the time that's what's here in the course beautifully and uh, with this actually we, we know that this is a Um, a great uh, writing from the mother, Sri Aurobindo, we have seen, and we have also found the um, <coughs> very interesting manner. One, our purpose in yoga is to exile the limited outward looking ego and to enthrone God in its place as the ruling inhabitant of the nature. The purpose is like this, for this, for this not one or two, the individual has to get a transfer. The individual society is tried to must be built up, and so far this supramentalization is concerned. We need it is the supramental yoga. For this only, um, uh, the purpose is not the rationalization but supramentalization. Second, not moralizing but the spiritualizing of life is the um, not only the meaning but also also the object of uh, entire supramental yoga. For this supramental yoga, surrender is actually it is most essential. There is no doubt of it. To get to you know, gain the supramental instincts, to the supramental thoughts, really, it is needed to do a lot of things, really, in our vision. And moreover, mother quotes uh, so far this superman supramentalizations are concerned that one thing must be done, the great thing must be done. It is not the individual, but the creation of the group. Even if the radiant children of God, it he is not also. Even if he is an avatar. By his own individual uh, aspect, individual um, um, uh, affinity, ability, he can never become the superman. For the superman, it is required that a, a, a group must be formed, human unity at large, one race at large, mankind at large is required. And moreover, they have to be prepared. And more, we know. Uh, during the vision of the mother's vision of the great sized boat. 
where people were they were gathering in the one in the sur they were supposed to be uh, shifted to the next uh, level the, the 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 river they had to uh, of course they have to they had to cross the river mother courts i am permanently in the charge everything i am permanently in the permission of the superintendent relation so mother is preparing us it is great thing we must be it is not the one or two individual it is the society at large or entire it is concentrated we are concentrating on the group country race society so the thing is that it is time to wake up with the master soul and to get prepared because this divine divine self it is within us it has to awake it has to come forward and that must be revealed that must be discovered and uh, divine, this accordingly we know these the, the terms uh, already we have already discussed um that is actually uh, society education beauty and the truth your physical and psychical science again your um, rules and regulations of the society your spiritual uh, so, um, social society sociology and again economics and uh, politics everything must be structured and in order to you know, find out discover the soul and of course uh, reveal Uh, the true self, which is actually uh, better hidden inside us, that is the call of the time. And the Sri Aurobindo Sutra is called, and we have to listen it. We have to prepare ourselves, and we have to collaborate, in, and we have to definitely become. To know the to know is good. To live is better, and to be that is perfect. Our purpose is to know, discover the divine, and to serve the divine. And here we must actually collaborate consciously. That is the requirement of the time. That is the call from the master, and we must be instrumented in handling all these things with utmost efficiency from the master.